Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Tuesday, March 19th, day before my mom's 81st birthday. So uh, tomorrow will be her big 81st birthday. Happy early birthday, mom. I guess I'll have to remember to give you a call tomorrow and wish you a happy birthday. So let's get that uh, stuck in my brain. Uh, this morning we got a nice vlog up. It was one hour, over one hour long. Lots going on, I guess. Um, so we, uh, we packed it full of stuff. We did the what sold, had a pretty good sales day, sold two pair of uh, Air Jordans. We're going to try to get some more Air Jordans listed. We've got a couple more in the photo station, as well as some hats ready to go. That's what we'll be working on today. I also got some laundry done, the last of the finds from yesterday's clean out. The 5x5 unit is still turning out clothes. Uh, I got two more loads of laundry going, and uh, one of them I uh, folded up and put away, getting ready to bit, get that stuff listed in the next couple months. I'm kind of just setting it aside now, uh, preparing to kind of focus on listing clothing again. Um, I'm sticking with hats for this week. I'm trying to finish up the hats that I'm doing. Hats are nice and uh, quick and easy, and uh, I'm really enjoying the process of listing hats, so I'm going to stick with it for a while. But the good news is we got several totes full of clothing. Uh, let me show you what came out of the laundry in the last uh, wash. Here's a look at the latest tote. Uh, we got that uh, nearly full, but I did pull a few items that were uh, nicer that I was going to show you guys. Some of you may have seen in last night's video. This was one of them, uh, kind of a graphic t-shirt with turtles. It actually had turtles on both sides, which was kind of cool. I didn't realize that yesterday, but a two-sided turtle t-shirt, so uh, colorful turtles. It might have a little few faint little stains on here, so we might need to wash this again. I don't know. Or we might just sell it as is. Probably a $10 piece. Second item I was going to show you guys is this. A pair of denim and rivets. Uh, kind of uh, acid wash. Again, it has some faint stains. But this is more of a pair of work type jeans. Or fashionable jeans. A few little stains don't really bother you. I'd at least uh, shouldn't. Size 36, 32. These are men's jeans. So we're going to try to get those listed and make a few bucks. Probably a pair of $15 jeans. Next item was kind of in a pair of athletic sweatpants. There weren't a lot of uh, men's sweatpants in this unit, but uh, this was a nice pair of NFL team size extra large Oakland Raiders football. Again, it says Oakland Raiders down the side there, as you can see with the, the logo, the Raiders logo. So a nice pair of clean sweats. Got them washed up, ready for resale. Again, probably a 15 pair of sweats, $15 pair. Up next, we got another brand name item. We got Adidas, the three stripe brand here. Not sure what size this is. Uh, it's hard to see. It's kind of worn off a little bit, but might be a larger medium. We'll have to measure it and list accordingly, but a nice clean Adidas athletic t-shirt, long sleeve, so that's probably a $15, $20 piece right there. Next we have a dress. There were a lot of dresses in this unit, mostly low-end, uh, cheaper dresses, probably $10 dresses, but this one we might be able to get $15 for. It has the nice um, waistband sash here to go along with it, kind of a black and white style, um, the kind of paisley design, I guess you would call it. And uh, I think it's kind of a three-quarter sleeve. It looks like they safety pin this part together because uh, maybe it uh, slides apart or whatever. But uh, a nice clean dress, a black and white style, pretty nice looking dress. $15, I would say, for that piece. And the final one I'm going to show you from yesterday's uh, finds, uh, today's laundry haul, was this a special blend. It's called the brand snowboarding jacket, a kind of a small uh, snowboarding jacket striped with all kinds of pockets and zippers and a hood. Um, I know it's uh, approaching springtime, so this stuff is probably less desirable, but uh, we'll put it away, post it up. Uh, it's probably... Uh, $30 piece I would say. We wouldn't want to get too uh, greedy but probably list it for 30 and accept offers. Um, pretty nice piece and it uh, cleaned up really good. Uh, no flaws at all. So there you have it. Our fourth tote full of clothing ready to be uh, listed into my eBay stores. So now that you guys have seen uh, the laundry, what we washed up, I think I'm going to um, show you what I have in the photo station ready to be photographed today. And then we'll take a look at what sold overnight. We did have a few sales overnight, uh, but first we got to get some stuff photographed so we can get back into list mode. The cleanouts have been uh, going pretty well. We've got that uh, handled, and I think um, we have one last load of laundry to deal with. I'll show you that to you guys when it's out of the laundry, out of the dryer, and then uh, 
we'll get busy listing. I think we're going to list some more hats today and hopefully get out in this weather. It's a beautiful day today, so I don't want to work too much, but we got to get some work in. we got to at least get those orders packed up, and then we can go in, out in the sunshine and have a little bit of fun. Um, but let me show you what's sitting in that photo station. We got some hats set up. We got some new Air Jordans, uh, some good stuff, some good fresh inventory ready to be photographed and listed. Let me show you. All right, here you they are. Let's start with the pair of these Jordans, right? This is the pair of Be Like Mike Michael Air Jordan. This is the green colorway, uh, green and orange it looks like. We had these in all different kinds of colors. These are kind of what sold. We had two of them sell for I think 150 and 175, something like that. Um, over $300 at Air Jordans sold recently, so we're hoping to get close to that for these as well. We'll we'll do the comps and see what they're going for. This uh, colorway is pretty nice. They might actually sell for a little bit more. Let's take a look at them. They are fresh and clean. Uh, pretty good. He did put this on a lot of the shoes, so these do have the RIP Crazy C. These came from a storage unit, and he marked that on some of the shoes, unfortunately, but... Uh, We'll make a note of that, and so the value will probably go down a little bit, but uh, someone will buy them and deal with that. The other pair is down here, um, a kind of a white and orange pair. We'll look at the model number to make sure we're listing correctly, but uh, these don't appear to have that uh, crazy C signature, at least that one does not. Some of them had it, some of them didn't. Um, so these, yeah, he didn't mark these up, so these are fresh and new clean right out the box we should be able to get close to two hundred dollars for this pair maybe more we'll do the comps and check out got to make sure it's with the right box um, but this looks like it is um, it has the model number here so we'll double check that it's correct size ten and a half there they are ten and a half Air Jordan S retro six retros Air Jordan sixes maybe um, so we'll see what the model number is and make sure we're giving them the right box uh, so we got to do a little bit of that, but uh, and then over here you hear that dryer running in the background. Hopefully it's not making too much noise, but uh, we have 10 pair of hats, 10 pair, we have 10 hats set out here. Let me give you a look at what we'll be uh, listing today. We got a nice Carhartt hat, a nice Wrangler hat, uh, what is this, the Reebok um, Flyers, that's right, Philadelphia Flyers. I keep wanting to call that the Phillies, but I know it's the Flyers, the hockey team. We got the Goodyear Racing. Uh, this is a nice uh, trucker style Eagle trucker on a patch hat, uh, trucker style. And we got a nice John Deere with a tractor on there. This is kind of that trucker style with the vented back, snap back. Uh, we got a Sturgis Rally 2012 hat. So this one's kind of older with the flames in the front. Pretty cool little piece. Uh, picked these up as part of an online arbitrage. Bought us some of these hats online to resell online. We got the Volcom skateboarding trucker style hat with the vented back. Nice, clean, and fresh. That one is pretty nice on the auto tag. And uh, we got Camp 2 over here. Some sort of, uh, I don't know if that's a native design on there, but a pretty cool little brown and beige trucker style snapback. And then we got uh, the Coca Cola Racing Family. So Coca-Cola, did they get into racing? I didn't know that, but it uh, looks like they do probably have a car or two, I'd imagine, with that kind of money. So that's what we're working on. We got hats, we got Air Jordans over here, and we got Air Jordans over here. Some good uh, quality inventory we should be able to make a decent amount of money off of. Of course, once we finish those hats, we do have more hats. This is the last two stacks of hats I'm working through. So now that you've seen what we got in the photo station to be photographed and listed today, let's take a look at what sold out of the big store today. We did have a few sales come in overnight. Uh, we weren't skunk completely. Sometimes Mondays and Tuesdays can be kind of slow. Actually, yesterday was a huge day because we had those two Air Jordans sell, uh, which was really nice for a Monday. Mondays can be kind of slow. Uh, at least they have been for me lately. Um, but this time, not so. Uh, we had, I think, over $400 in sales yesterday. So um, not so much this morning, though. Uh, we had a few sales co come in, though. Let's take a look and see what sold. There you see it, four orders for $51.76, 5176 so a far cry from what uh, sold last uh, yesterday. First item sold for $14.87, it's a NHL Fanatics Columbus Blue Jackets t-shirt size, extra large, short sleeve, cotton, keyword Murray. 
So I guess Murray is the player that was on back of it, uh, some sort of hockey player, I'm not familiar, but the number 27 Murray, they're a fan of him. Second item that sold, sold for $9.05, it's a Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest DVD cartoon video movie, film, disc with case. So Fern Gully the movie. Third item to sell, sold for $13.99, we're finally having some of this jewelry sell, uh, we've had a couple brooches sell uh, so far, this is a vintage large red enamel flower uh, floral jewelry petals brooch pin, size two and a half inches. So that's the keywords I used to get this one sold, took uh, four pictures and a picture of the back of it. Um, they wanted a, a photo of the back so they could see it without the cardboard, but uh, I didn't send it to them. So they sent payment, and we're going to just ship it out as is, paid for in full. And the final item this morning was another hat, $13.85. These hats continue to sell. This is a Team Hoyt gray and black adult baseball style hat, one size fits all strap back cap. So back to the analogy of baseball, we're hitting singles today, right? Uh, we're searching for those home runs. Those Air Jordans are definitely a home run when those sell, but uh, singles today, the hats are easy singles though. Um, we can make a living off of that. So we're trying to get those hats up, sell them between 10 and $20, and um, that's kind of our bread and butter sales. And then anything else, we're searching for home runs. We're looking to list more home runs and sell more home runs, the big money items where we profit over $50. Uh, those Air Jordans, each time those sell for 100 to $200, we're making a, that, about that amount of money, sometimes more. So um, that's what we're going to focus on, getting those Jordans listed. Bought those in a storage unit uh, three or four years ago and I've just been holding on to them. So I'm finally getting around to listing them. As you can see, they're pretty clean, new in box. Most of them, uh, they just had that writing on a few of them, that uh, RIP Crazy C. Um, but uh, we'll notify the, the seller, or the buyers rather, that... Uh, that is on the heel of some of them. We'll take a picture of it so they know what they're getting and uh, we'll price accordingly. Um, sometimes these shoes can go upwards to $300 so uh, if you could sell it for $200 and uh, they have to deal with that little crazy C on the heel, um, you can get that stuff off. You just have to scrub it with the right stuff. I don't want to mess with all that. I'll let the buyer deal with that but uh, we'll get it up and notify them of uh, what's on the heel so they know what they're getting. All right, I'm going to have a little break, uh, get a little drink and a little apple, and then we'll get in that photo station. Like I said, we'll get in that photo station. We'll take those photos of those hats and that uh, those Air Jordans, and then we'll get into uh, packing up those four orders. Of course, we have to check out the small store. There might be some sales out of the small store. So once I'm done with all that, we'll log into the small store, and I'll let you guys know uh, if anything's sold. I do have a second video going out today. I kind of broke off the last... Um, unboxing of the one hour video into 30 minute segment I'm hoping to get a little bit a few more eyes on uh, my content uh, since that was kind of a long one I'm not sure if what YouTube thinks about me breaking up those uh, videos and posting them double time but uh, this one is kind of a new one uh, we'll do a different thumbnail and uh, the content will be the same for those of you who don't watch the full one hour uh, the last 30 minutes will break into a separate video for those of you who just like the unboxing of the last bags um, I got some ideas on a thumbnail that I can use that hopefully will get some eyes on it. So we'll work on getting that up. It's uploading as we speak. We just got to get the thumbnail done and uh, hit publish on that one. And hopefully we'll get a few more eyes on uh, this content. And we're trying to get to that 4,000 hours of watch time. So we got to keep posting content. When I can do two videos a day, it's always better than one. So uh, that's the plan for today. All right, we're making some progress on the workflow. We got the hats photographed. We got the Jordans photographed. We pulled these four orders. There they appear. We're going to get some labels on those and get them ready for the tote. And then we'll log into the small store and see what kind of sales we have today. All right, before we uh, show you guys all of that, I thought I'd give you guys a look at the final load of laundry. We got it done. Mostly uh, summer dresses, some swimmer, some tank tops, but there were a few nice items uh, that I showed you in yesterday's video. They came out of the wash looking all right. A few of them uh, we'll have to decide what we want to do with, but let me show you. Here's that Lakers jersey number 14. This is a Nike dry fit jersey, size large, 48. Ingram was the player, um, so that's probably has some significant value. That's a lot of the dresses, the summer sun dresses, and there's some swimmer in there, tank tops, um, other stuff. There's a pair of pants, but this is a pair of North Face, the North Face blue uh, athletic shorts, 
and this is that Dickies jacket. It does have some significant wear, but it is a uh, work jacket, so maybe somebody might want to pick that up for a work jacket. And uh, over here we have this Swish Mellow, Swish Mellow plush. Um, I did throw it, run it through the wash, and um, it uh, didn't come out. The stain is still there, so maybe uh, it's something that uh, is baked in there. I don't know, but uh, we might... Uh, we might just throw it in the tote and decide what we want to do with it. I didn't treat that stain, so I probably should have sprayed a little something on it. But um, who knows what we want to do with this guy. I'll think about it and figure it out later. Right now he's just going to go in the tote with the Lakers jersey. Pretty nice little home for him. Hopefully he's happy there. Of course, these guys have the prime position. Uh, Baby Yoda and uh, this guy. I forget what his name is. They got the prime position here in the living room. They made it here. This is the big time for them. They're a cute little couple, aren't they? So this is all the brand new stuff. I might just throw that on the top of that tote and deal with clothing at another time. But this was all brand new out of the um, unit. There were several new items. So there was this little kid's dress, this pink kid's dress. And then uh, this brand new Billabong sundress, size, size extra small from Nordstrom. And then there were several of these brand, uh, Nadine West. This is an example. Sheila Rose is the brand on that too, Nadine West. So it might be a store where they got a lot of stuff. Here's a couple more from that Nadine West, Sheila Rose collection. There's a nice floral. And then down here is a nice animal print with a pocket. Might as well give you guys a look at the last three brand new items. We had some de denim items. Actually, the Chico's vest probably isn't brand new, but it's in really great shape. But the other two are brand new. Let me the show you. The first one, I guess you would call this, what, a pencil skirt maybe? I don't know. It's kind of narrow. Over Klesha's, has the buttons down the front. Here's that Chico's platinum vest, that denim vest. It's a size 2 Chico's platinum. And finally, this is a nice denim a Liz Claiborne reprieve. Simply Liz. Um, it's a size 6, so a nice denim vest, a, de a denim skirt, and a denim skirt, so three denim pieces. Alright, now that I've shown you the best of the best from that last laundry haul, got that stuff washed and put away in that tote, we're going to deal with those at a later date. Plenty of inventory to be listed. Some of that stuff will be better off listed in the, as spring comes along. Those nice uh, spring dresses, summer dresses, the floral dresses, probably a... Uh, we're not quite in the season yet. I guess we're approaching it though. Spring is almost here, the 20th. We'll start spring and uh, then we'll start uh, worrying about listing some summer dresses, some spring dresses, get into some of the skirts and all that other good stuff that women like to uh, buy this time of year. But first we gotta pack up our orders, those four orders I showed you earlier. Let's get those uh, packed up, get some labels on them and get them in the tote ready for the customer. Alright, you saw the four orders earlier. This one snuck in uh, recently, $16.09. It's a Vans black and red floral polyester baseball hat, snapback, one size fits all. We're gonna add that to the mix and get a label on it as well. Alright, there they are. Five orders ready for labels. Here come those labels. Let's get them printed and let's get these out to the customer. Alright, we got an empty tote. Time to fill it up. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five orders for the tote. Let's check the small store. Alright, it looks like we had just one sale out of the small store for $18.38. Let me show you guys what sold. There they are. It's a pair of 3XL Stretch Tech Brown Athletic Drawstring Shorts Polyester Spandex 46 inch waist by 8.5 inch inseam. So spring officially starts tomorrow and people have been buying shorts. So they're ready for shorts weather. They're ready to get those legs out there in that sunshine and enjoy the springtime. Uh, so they've been buying pretty regularly, um, but we're gonna grab that pair of shorts, get a label on it, and add it to the tote. All right, one more for the tote. All right, we're making some progress listing hats. We got six hats listed. Yeah, like I said, six hats listed into the small store. I just marked the store down, 10% sale, running a sale on the everything in the store. Just marking it off 10%, hoping to get some sales rolling in. It's a little bit slow today, so uh, some new listings and a sale. That should do the trick. We're going to log back into the big store, make sure there's no more orders, and then uh, hopefully drive this stuff to the post office. We got a, a half a tote full, so we got to drop that off and uh, get out of the house for a while, maybe get a run in. We'll see how things go.
All right, the minute I put it away, it sells twenty six eighty two for this hat. Just listed it a few minutes ago. Royal Pacific uh, John Deere trucker style vintage snapback hat uh, sold quick. Just listed it at four thirty six, and here it is four fifty, and it's sold. So uh, that was a quick one. So a quick sale like that always makes me wonder if I underpriced that one. A vintage uh, John Deere hat. I didn't think twice about it. Listed it for $19.99. Sold for $26 and change uh, with shipping. So I'm going to go grab that one and uh, get a shipping label on it. Then we'll log into the big, big store and see if we had any other sales. Another sale out of the small store. This one sold for $7.95. It does have a, a bleach stain. So that's why i just kind of looking to move it on to another a person this one is an extra large age of wisdom blue short sleeve men's pocket dress shirt 100 percent polyester uh, it's just had a little uh bleach stain there you see it at the hem of the shirt um try to wash it didn't come out so it's in there for good but they bought it 7.95 so a shirt like that sells for 7.95 obviously not making very much money on that but uh Good to see that one go out the door. Um, sometimes that happens. You invest in something you don't see the bleach stain or you get it in a storage unit it has damage. You decide to list it up uh, probably uh, against my better judgment and it uh, takes forever to sell. You got to mark it all the way down to that amount. Um, but we got it sold and it makes room for some fresh inventory. So we're going to get some labels on these two orders. We'll send them uh, to the tote and out the door to the post office. All right, here they come. Shipping labels for two more orders. We'll get these printed, get them on the packages, and throw them in the tote. All right, two more for the tote in one and two. All right, I listed a couple hats into the big store. Just logged in. We had one more sale. They uh, paid for this a brand new vintage, new old stock Star Trek Captain Luke, Jean-Luc Picard. The Next Generation Playmates Toy. So I'm going to go locate this. Sold for $18.18. .18. We're going to get a label on it and add it to the tote. Alright, one more for the tote. And then we're going to head it to the post office. Alright, we made it here to Lake Patton. As you saw, um, I'm going to get my 2.6 miles in. Then we'll check back once I get re returned. All right, we're back. Another successful 2.6 miles around Lake Patton. Went up into the horse trails and all the way around. So probably closer to three miles. I guess I'm grateful that I finished. Didn't stop at all. Went all the way around. Uh, pretty steady pace. Was a little bit tired. Today's back-to-back -to -back after a long weekend. I forget how much uh, those uh, photography events can take it out of you. Uh, even though you're just standing there for a few hours, you're kind of tensed up with that camera um, and a lot of energy's coming your way. So it does take it out of you a little bit. Uh, came home Sunday night and just kind of crashed out and then had to deal with the photos um, the next day, Monday morning. We got them all up pretty quickly. So uh, it wasn't a huge race, just a 5K, but uh, quite a few participants, so quite a few photos. Um, they're all up there now uh, for ready for purchase and uh, this next uh, upcoming weekend they got another event going on so uh, the fun doesn't stop a uh, snowmish running company puts on a lot of great events so we're going to be out there getting more photos and uh, capturing all that great uh, fun run exercise so i guess up next is the milltown marathon um it's a it's a newer uh, not newer but a renamed event i think is what it was um, kind of one of their signature events so they got quite a few you can go up on the web website it's not too late to sign up um, uh, snohomishrunning.com will get you there and you'll see all the events uh, come on out we'll be there taking photos we'll have several photographers There's a lot of uh, fun sponsors and vendors and all kinds of festivities you can enjoy so uh, check that one out for sure I guess grateful that uh, we continue to be part of those fun events it always makes it a good time especially come springtime uh, when it's a little nicer weather out there it's always good to stand out there in the sunshine uh, much better than the, the rain and the cold they have the Thanksgiving one and uh, the Christmas one and those are often a little chilly but uh, this time of year it's not too bad I guess today we can be grateful for the wife she's out here today she's running around the lake while jogging she uh, wanted to get out of the house and get a little exercise she does exercise but not much of a runner so she's uh, out here attempting to uh, run around Lake Patton, conquer the lake, get in that 2.6. So I gotta circle back and find her and make sure she uh, makes it to the finish line. 
I know she might uh, be slugging around. I saw her about a uh, quarter of the way through because I went up into the horse trails and I scared her a little. She probably didn't know. Snuck up behind her and gave her a little goose and uh, she didn't like that very much. But uh, hopefully that'll give her a little adrenaline boost to get her around the lake. Uh, so we'll have to circle back and uh, make sure she's doing all right. Uh, I guess we could be grateful for the goodwill. They're accepting these donations, still just taking all the stuff we don't want. So it allows us to do these... Uh, a storage unit clean outs pretty efficiently you know what you don't want you just give them to the goodwill they make a few bucks off of you and you're able to keep flipping units uh, makes it really nice if you had to take all that stuff to the dump or dispose of it some other way it would be uh, quite pricey so uh, it's definitely nice to have those types of um, thrift stores in the community yeah we made another donation today filled the back of the Prius with a few things suitcases and bags and a uh, bike rack and uh, a little storage cabinet I didn't need so we're getting uh, the garage cleaner obviously you bring in stuff and you, some stuff has to go so uh, that spring cleaning has begun we're gonna continue with it we got some bigger things to uh, move we might have to take a load to the dump but uh, we'll get the garage cleaned out a little and uh, make this a little bit more of a efficient process if I'm gonna move forward with some of these storage units you need some space and uh, a quarter of a garage isn't enough you, uh, half a garage is a uh, ideal for uh, sorting things out especially if you get some bigger units so we'll see what the future brings I'm sticking to the small ones at this point but uh, you never know once the spring gets underway I might get a little bit more ambitious so those of you who have been watching those storage unit clean out videos and enjoy those I uh, want to let you know there's another one on the horizon I told you I was gonna be searching today I did look at it this morning and there were a few in Bellingham kind of a big one I didn't really want to tackle that one it was a 10 by 20 had a lot of nice fun stuff in it, but uh, I'm just not ready for a big one like that yet. But tomorrow, there is one ending. I think it's a 5x5 five five in the, I want to say, at Linwood area. And it looks promising. Um, there's not a lot of action on it right now. I think it's only up to $50. So uh, I'm going to take a look at it tomorrow morning and see what happens. And uh, maybe we'll get another one. Who knows? I don't want to spend too much money because the budget is uh, minimal at this point. But uh, it could be a good one. So I guess to stay grateful that these um, adventures keep coming my way, I keep producing these fun new events to attend in terms of uh, whether it's uh, these fun runs that the Snowmish Running Company puts on or these uh, storage unit cleanouts or whatever else comes my way. You kind of have to make that fun in life, enjoy those things that you enjoy doing. So uh, if it's something like that uh, that you really enjoy that you haven't done lately, lately maybe take a second to uh, make an effort to do that this spring. You know, set some other stuff aside and um, spend a little money if you need to and make it happen. So I think that's a good dose of gratefulness for the day. I'm going to get out there, I'll show you guys the lake and then circle back and try to find the wife, see what she's how she's achieving this uh, 2.6, how it feels, and uh, maybe we can get her on camera. I don't know, she's kind of camera shy. She doesn't like to be on camera yet, but uh, we'll see what she, uh, what she at, how she reacts to me pointing it at her, maybe. All right, here's a look at the lake today. We went grocery shopping, so we're out here a little bit later than usual. It is uh, still, the sun went down just recently, so um, things are a little bit uh, lighter these days. Um, we see some ducks over there. I'm going to walk that way, see what we can find. I don't know. I think I see her coming. She's already here. That was pretty quick. Not too far behind me, actually, and she's still running. That's impressive. She's got a little Seattle Sounders hat on. She's going to work that hill. Here she comes. I'm going to hide and surprise her. As she, she runs up this hill, she walks. Oh, she's still running. She's still running. Oh, <laughs> she made it. Four hours. How was it? You're not that far behind me, actually. <laughs> there she goes. She made it. Her plan is to run straight to the car. She's going right up those stairs straight to the car. So uh, I'll head that way, too, I guess. She doesn't know if you can stop once you get to the bathrooms. That's the rule, right? She's running straight up to the car. Let's try and uh, comment. How was it? I'm going to die. Did you run the whole way? Tell the truth. You did? I walked twice. Walked twice up the hills? Up the hills. Yeah. All right, you ready to go home? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to stretch it out a little? No? No warm down? No. All right.